my name is Betsy Schulman. Uh, I live here in New York City. And I wanted to uh, comment on the issue of the word scam. It's not a word that I like very much. Um, and sometimes I think that scam is, uh, is a word that's been made up in order to judge another business or an opportunity when someone who hasn't really given it their best effort uh, fails to get a result. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't exist. I do believe that some scams exist. I mean, we know Bernie Madoff, that was, that was a major scam. And those are the things that we hear about a lot, especially here in New York. But in terms of an internet business, if you're looking for a legitimate internet business to start and to grow, it's important to ask some pertinent questions, same kinds of questions you would ask anyone that you were planning to do business with, or even if you were going to buy a car from someone, you would ask questions like, who was the previous owner? Um, can I have a list of the repair receipts? Um, just basic information. And you would have to get their phone number and their address in order to make contact and actually see the car. Well, a lot of times people fail to do those very basic things when it comes to investigating an online business opportunity. And every online business should have, nowadays, a website, especially if you're planning to do an internet business. It should come from someone who is doing an internet business format. So, First, you want to check out your website. You want to call the person and see if the number they have posted works. You want to find out their story and talk with them about it. Ask them some questions that let you know that the person is real, that they're honest. Uh, they can't guarantee the amount of money you'll make because each person is really responsible for taking their own actions. Um, and if they say it's a get-rich-quick opportunity, that's a good indication that there's probably something about the business that is not valid. It may be something that you can do, but it might be something you're not comfortable doing. So I just wanted to put out those thoughts about finding a legitimate business and about avoiding scams. Uh, also, you might want to just look on the Better Business Bureau. Um, there's a website that kind of indicates the things you can do to avoid getting yourself into a situation where you ever need to call the Better Business Bureau. Excuse me, Better Business Bureau. Say that one three times fast. Uh, what I would recommend you do if you're searching for internet businesses that uh, you might want to join is to look up as much information as you can about the person that you contact. You should be able to see uh, videos and um, different listings of things that they've written. They might be on e articles. They might have their own personal blog. And all of those things will help you to know that you're getting started with a real person at a real company that has real products. And if you decide that it is something that you want to do, then you're all set. And if not, move on and look for something that is just as legitimate and has all of those same qualifications. So I hope that was helpful. If you'd like to learn something about the business that I'm a part of, which is definitely legitimate, you can visit me at my website at elephantentrepreneur.com.